thing for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, we want to shine a light on a very rare form of breast cancer diagnosed during pregnancy. We're talking about pregnancy-associated breast cancer, which affects just one in 3,000 women. Our Stephanie Valderrama joins us in studio this morning, and Stephanie, treating this type of breast cancer during pregnancy can be pretty complicated. Yeah, Sam, in these cases, while rare, doctors do have to consider treatment options that control or eliminates the cancer, but is not harmful to the baby. This morning, we want to share the inspiring story of one local mother that beat the odds. Her name is Isabel. She has a lot of personality. And I have Hannah Bell. She's three and a half. And I have Ish Bell, which is one year old. <laughs> Jennifer Bobbier's daughters are her world. Her first two pregnancies weren't easy. Her third was going so smoothly, or so she thought. After the baby shower, you know, and I started to notice that my breast was not looking the same. She says her breast resembled an orange peel, a huge red flag for the young mom. After several tests, doctors recommended a biopsy. You don't have cancer. Like, for a good few seconds, it's like I was literally like... It's like an out of body, like, you know, type of feeling. I'm going to die, you know. And I was like, what's going to happen to my kids? It was a phone call Jennifer will never forget. At the time, she was 33 weeks pregnant. After crying for a full day, Jennifer says she picked herself back up and decided that it was time to face this head on. The cancer was aggressive and needed to be treated immediately. Ten days after being diagnosed, Jennifer had a C-section. She and her husband welcomed their healthy baby girl, born October 15th at St. Mary's. She was diagnosed later on, thankfully, in her pregnancy at a point where we could safely deliver the baby and then transition forward to treating her breast cancer safely. Within two weeks, she started chemo at Good Samaritan and then underwent a double mastectomy. Without knowing it, the mother of three became an inspiration to her team of doctors. She was at peace, which is very unusual when I, you know, I've seen a lot of um, preg pregnant patients with breast cancer, and it's, you know, usually they're just completely um, shocked and just completely not at peace. And she, she just has a beautiful demeanor. She was completely at peace. Jennifer says her family and her faith was the driving force to keep fighting every day. I knew what was going to happen. I knew that chemo was going to help me, so I had to do my part as well. So happy to share this morning that Jennifer has been cancer-free since May. So celebrating her youngest daughter's first birthday just a few weeks ago was extra special. And she says all those moments, like the sleepless nights with the newborn and sometimes the daily grind of raising three little ones, she doesn't take a single minute of it for granted. In fact, she cherishes just about every single moment. And of course she does. Her story is so incredible. And it's such an important reminder that no one knows your body better than you do, pregnant or otherwise. And so you know, the minute you notice something is off, it's so important to go to the doctor, which is what she did. And that's why she's sharing her story this morning, because she had not, had she not been paying attention to her body, who knows what could have happened. And that's why she wants other mothers that are watching to pay attention. You know, this usually happens because your hormones are changing so much during pregnancy, and it is found later during the pregnancy. I do want our directors to pop up some of the things that women who may be watching should be looking out for. Uh, the big one there is the orange peel skin, which was what Jennifer found, and they, she immediately called her doctor. If we can go to the next full screen. Uh, some other things women should be looking out for. The big one there is fluids that are not the breast milk, especially if it's bloody, definitely a reason to pick up the phone and call your doctor. And I know Matt actually mentioned during the commercial break, we were talking, you know, what happens if this would have been diagnosed previous, correct? Right. Uh, because it was diagnosed later in her pregnancy, and that's such a great question because I'm sure a lot of people at home are wondering. And the answer is, when I talked to Dr. Byron, who was featured in our story, she said that uh, you, there are treatments that you can do, you know, early on in the pregnancy that control the cancer so that you could finish your pregnancy, uh, deliver your baby, healthy baby, and then immediately then start targeting that cancer more aggressively. So important to highlight, too, as we come to the end of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Absolutely. Thank Stephanie, you so much. thank you.